Hello, everyone. I would like to show you how to import BIM objects into your Revit model. Supposing I have this uh, model here, then I want to list some doors. So I can just come to doors here and I get uh, this external double door and I place it here. Okay. Now, if I come back again to doors, I may I want a particular type of door that is not here. So I'm actually limited in choices. In the previous versions of uh, uh, Revit, I'm not sure up to when, but definitely up to 2020, Revit 2020, you will have to come to load family here. Uh, click on load family. And then uh, it's going to open up and you're going to find uh, a folder here with different objects, uh, windows, doors, electrical components, and all the kind of components that you can think of in BIM. But from 2022 or the latest version 2022, uh, we don't have that. So how do we get uh, them? How do we get such objects? So you instead come back to uh, insert, which is here, you click on insert, and then you will notice that Autodesk load Autodesk family is grayed out. Then you have load family, which is the one that you can use now uh, in 2022. So load Autodesk family is grayed out. Now it might be because we are uh, in an operation or there's a pending task, which you can go out uh, here from modify, or it might be because we have not signed in. Uh, you are expected to sign in. Uh, you are expected to have an Autodesk account. And uh, once you log in, I'm sure he's going to let you sign in. So uh, what we now do is I'm just going to go out of the pending. Uh, I'm not going to save. You now notice that after clicking on modify to go out of the pending task, you now see that load family is um, uh, not grayed out. So I'm going to click on load family. And once I click on load family, I can see some objects. So I'm going to click on doors and then choose the one that I want. I want this. Now, you might not have signed in. Had it been, uh, I was not signing. Then this page, a page will appear here that will allow me to sign in. Okay. Once I click on load or the best family, if I had not signed in, maybe a page. Uh, will appear for me to log in if I can see this uh, library. So take note of that. So I'm choosing this. Once I choose this, and then I come below here, it tells me load. That's load. I'm going to click on load. It's going to take a couple of seconds. Done. So I now have to go to architecture and then uh, Click on door. You can see the door that I chose. So I'm just going to place that door here. Okay, that's it. And let's assume now that uh, we don't want to use Autodesk uh, uh, objects, then there are many online, there are many other objects being uh, published online. So I'm going to choose this one specifically uh, from National Building Specification NBS. So if you type NBS BIM objects on Google, you should have this page. Uh, NBS is uh, a leading authority in the UK uh, in the uh, BIM, in the dissemination of uh, uh, BIM information. So I'm going to click on this. Once I do that, it tells me NBS plugin for Autodesk Revit. So if I download and install this plugin um, in Revit, I should be able to read uh, objects from here and use in my model. So I'm going to click on find objects. Once I do that, I see view all categories. If I click on view all categories, 
Then I can choose G and see if I can find doors. Yes, external doors, 34 of them. And then I can choose this one, for example, or even this and I click on download. Once I click on download, I can see IFC and Revit. So I can either read this model into my, uh, I can read this uh, door in its native Revit format into my model or in uh, read the same door in IFC format into my model. Of course, given that I would have downloaded uh, the NBS plugin for Autodesk Revit. Download it and install it, of course. That's it for now. Thank you. Bye. Uh,